here with Craig Newman. Uh, I think he would be the number one cool bass player in Australia and my favourite bass player. <laughs> and we love playing together in my situation. But what I'm going to do today is demonstrate the new model 2K head, which features two DIs out, um, one for each channel, which is perfect for upright. Um, Craig at the moment's got a mic. What sort of mic you got in there? Um, that's a realist mic. Realist, yeah. I think. And then, then a pickup. Remick pickup under the uh, under the board. Fingerboard. Yeah. Yep. Then which gives me the, a lot of bottom end. Oh okay, yeah, well, it sure does. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The the um, that mic is coming into a, a channel here, which can be phantom powered. Um, which we have phantom powered at the moment for the mic. You can use it as a normal bass input uh, for two basses or you can phantom power a mic. But the beauty for an upright is that you can blend your pickup and a mic. Uh, Craig's pickup is in this other channel, in channel A. So at the moment he's got phantom powered into a mic. His EQ is, I've just got a little bit of bottom end boosted, a little bit of mids taken out and I boosted the treble, uh, and it's coming out of both those two tens. I can pan, you can use one two ten, I, you can pan from left to the right to use either of the boxes or have both. Now the other channel, uh, it's got a separate volume on it. So you can blend the volume of that channel against this, which is a master volume, for both channels. So I'll get Craig to play a little bit, and I'll bring in the other channel Good. So you can see it's given it more attack and a bit more presence. That's for someone that wants to blend both channels. This came from Scott Colley idea when he was out here from, he was playing with John Schofield and he, he ran his mic, it was a Neumann, hmm. out in the front of the house through the monitors. Then he ran his pickup into the, the, one of my amps, a preamp. So he was having to get the front of house guy to, to blend the front of house with his amp. He said, I wish somebody would design an amp so I could just plug both in. So yeah. I went, okay, <laughs> as usual, okay, I'll do it. So this is where that come from. So the DI is out the back. It's a separate one for that channel one and a separate for channel two. So at the moment, they're going to Steve in the mixing desk and the front of house guy, no matter what situation now, he can get you his front of house sound yeah. separate from whatever Which is you great like. to have the two two separate DIs out of the out of the back for the two channels. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so, as you know, they might want to swap phase on something yeah. like he just yeah. did or he although you've got a, if you've got this gear, your EQ will be what he's getting. If you haven't got this gear, yeah. then he would need to EQ it, but don't, you don't suffer from mm. your sound. Mm. So that's it. It's either pre or post EQ. Um, uh, so you, it doesn't really matter if what's going to him, you can have, that's just a choice, personal choice. Yeah, yeah. So that's about it. They come out uh, probably January, um, which is next month. Um, NAM, this is why we're doing this. This is virtual NAM that we've been recording mm -hmm. here. Uh, <laughs> no trade show booth. Uh, so this is our booth. The stage we just played on was a performance for NAM. So that's the only thing new I've got coming out with the Wayne Jones amps and audio. The rest are the same, the passive cabinets and the powered ones, etc. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, the prototype, well, I did two prototypes and it was someone you knew in Belgium. Yeah. You rang me up about, which I was already talking to him via another guy. That's gone. <laughs> so he's Great. loving it. Great. Um, so there you go. Uh, maybe Craig will play us out. So, so, uh, I'll turn your mic just solely on. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> ha, ha, ha.